Samples 858 chatbot enhancements include user preferred favicon for any fluid component, including components configured with the chatbot, support for attachments in chatbots, and an option to authorize RESTful services using OAuth support. To deploy chatbots, you must have PeopleTools 85707 or later and an application image that supports chatbots. A subscription to Oracle Digital Assistant, or ODA, is also required. The Absence Assistant chatbot was released in HCM Update Image 31, and the Request or Inquiry chatbot went out in FSCM Update Image 34. Additional PeopleSoft chatbots will be released in future update images. Here, we'll use the Absence Assistant chatbot to easily ask questions and perform simple tasks related to absences. Use a laptop, tablet, or phone, and either voice or text. Start the conversation by entering your question. Along with your answer, you have options to get even more information. The PeopleSoft Chatbot Integration Framework provides all the technology you need to deploy chatbots with PeopleSoft and provides the integration to Oracle Digital Assistant. Chatbot integration framework elements include a chatbot user interface that's accessible through select components and homepage tiles. This provides the chat dialog area and is set up as a channel to communicate with ODA. The Application Service Framework provides a simple means of communicating between ODA and PeopleSoft using RESTful services and has built-in authorization for each call between ODA and PeopleSoft. The PeopleSoft chatbot dialogues that are installed in ODA as skills control the dialogue flow of the chat conversation. Although chatbots use the cloud-based ODA application, you can use them with PeopleSoft deployed either on-premise or in the Oracle Cloud infrastructure. See the PeopleSoft Chatbot Integration Framework video feature overview for more details on the PeopleSoft video channel. You can get more information about chatbots at peoplesoftinfo.com. This completes our demonstration of the chatbot feature. PeopleTools 858 enhances the user experience with an updated user interface and includes enhancements to activity guides, interactions within Fluid applications, push notifications, and related information. PeopleTools 858 delivers an updated, contemporary look to the user interface, beginning with the sign-in screen, and continuing through Fluid homepages, components, and activity guides, as well as to Classic Plus components. The updated style sheets and other branding elements have new colors, headers, widget designs, icons, and effects. These updates apply to Fluid homepages, Fluid components, Fluid activity guides, Fluid pages and secondary pages, as well as to modal windows and dialog boxes launched from these Fluid applications. This contemporary look can be seen with the banner, its buttons, the nav bar, the menu, and their interaction effects. Similar updates apply to the style sheet for Classic Plus components, ensuring a uniform look and feel across your PeopleSoft system. PeopleTools 858 enhances activity guide templates with an option to indicate that multi-language data present in the template is to be copied when creating a new instance from the template. In addition, for activity guide templates and instances, you can now indicate that steps that are not assigned to the current user are hidden and not displayed to that user. Note that the activity guide menu folder is now located as a sibling of the portal menu folder meaning the Portal Administrator role is no longer required to create and maintain Activity Guide templates and instances. PeopleTools now includes features previously available in Classic applications. You can now configure edit boxes and long edit boxes to display a counter that indicates the number of characters remaining. You can also enable spell checking for edit boxes and long edit boxes that support text input. 
On the spell check page, you can correct or ignore spelling errors and add new words to the currently selected language for your personal dictionary. Similar to classic components, the new window link can be enabled on fluid components. The new window link is displayed in the Actions menu, allowing you to open the current component in a new browser tab. The Push Notification Framework now supports additional notification channels and user personalization in PeopleTools 858. You can configure existing notifications for delivery across multiple channels and send broadcast messages from the PeopleSoft system. And for each notification type, your users can personalize how they'd like to be notified, selecting one or more channels for delivery of notifications. For example, an employee submits an absence request for an upcoming vacation, which will generate a notification to her manager for approval. Meanwhile, a system administrator sends a reminder to all employees about an upcoming system outage. The broadcast message is delivered as an alert to an audience that is selected by role, user ID, or both. All of your users can view their notifications through their preferred notification channels, via notifications in the notification window, by email, and by text messages and your users can now personalize how they wish to receive notifications. They can enter a phone number for the delivery of text messages, and for each notification type that allows personalization, they can select which of the configured notification channels they prefer. Behind the scenes, several new configuration tasks are required. First, administrators can now maintain notification categories. When defining a notification category, the administrator can specify whether the category is mandatory, which means that each user must subscribe via at least one channel, whether a channel is available, whether it's enabled by default, and whether user personalization is allowed. Finally, delivery of text messages from a PeopleSoft system requires an external Twilio account, which is defined on the PT text messaging URL identifier. PeopleTools 858 enhances the ways in which you can personalize related information and analytics. The Related Information pane still displays analytics as either links or tiles, and related content as tiles only. When you personalize the Related Information pane, you can decide whether to display the Links section or the Tiles section first. Drag and drop items in either section to reorder the display. You can manage your analytics separately from related content. Select to display analytics as tiles instead of as links, and delete those analytics that allow for personalization. These changes are reflected when you return to the Display Properties tab. And finally, you can reset the entire related information pane to its defaults. The link section appears first, followed by the tile section. Analytics in the link section are reordered alphabetically and tiles are reordered by the sequence number specified in the Manage Related Content configuration or alphabetically if no sequence number is specified. This completes our demonstration of user interface and interaction enhancements. PeopleTools 858 enhances configuration and isolating customizations with updates to event mapping, drop zones, and application engine, and the new Configuration Specialist homepage. PeopleTools 858 includes several enhancements to event mapping that support broader usage of PeopleCode event mapping with drop zones for data privacy and other uses. Event mapping now supports field default, field edit, search init, and search save events for component record fields, and search init and search save events for component records. Event mapping now also supports records and record fields on subpages and secondary pages at any level of nesting, not just for primary pages explicitly defined in the component. This enhancement also extends support to the page activate event for secondary pages and to derived work records. 
Finally, you can now use a single application class service ID for multiple configurations. This enhancement simplifies people code development because multiple blocks of code can be delivered in a single application class. Then, during configuration, you can use a new event mapping parameter to selectively invoke the specific block of code that pertains to a specific event. Similar to Fluid Pages, drop zones are now supported on Classic Pages, including Classic Plus. These configurable drop zones allow you to add new fields that are displayed and processed on delivered Classic Pages without customizing the component or Classic Page definition. The three-step drop zone implementation process remains similar to that as for Fluid drop zones, which were introduced in Images on PeopleTools 857. First, PeopleSoft application development teams add drop zones to selected classic applications. These drop zone enabled pages will be delivered to customers in upcoming PeopleSoft application update images on PeopleTools 858. On classic pages, a drop zone is a special group box with the drop zone group box option selected. Each drop zone must contain the PTERC subpage stub, which is dynamically replaced at runtime. Second, you design and create classic subpage definitions to be dynamically inserted as replacements for the subpage stub. The fields and page controls on your subpages are displayed and processed along with the fields and controls of the main page without any differentiation of where the items are defined. Third, you associate your classic subpages to drop zones. Note that unconfigured drop zones are ignored and not rendered at runtime. PeopleTools 858 enables you to configure an application engine action plugin to alter SQL or people code actions of any application engine program. Similar to event mapping for transactional processing, your modification to application engine programs will not cause any disruption when you decide to upgrade to a new image. Actions belonging to the same step of the same section can have multiple plugin actions defined. Decide in which order to perform the actions that you add or replace, as well as the sequence in which the actions belonging to the same step of the same section run during execution. Using tile definitions delivered in PeopleTools 858, future PeopleSoft application update images will include a configuration specialist homepage, a configuration specialist role, and additional selected tile definitions, such as page and field configurator, form designer, and others. Combined, these features will grant access to these PeopleTools features and other selected items without opening up the entire PeopleTools menu structure. You can grant access to additional items, and your specialists can reconfigure this home page to suit their needs. PeopleTools 858 includes these seven tile definitions. Activity Guide, Manage Dashboard Pages, Navigation Collections, Notifications, Pivot Grid, Related Content Service, and Tile Wizard. This completes our discussion of Configuration and Isolating Customizations Enhancements. PeopleTools 858 Reporting and Analytics include enhancements to charting, PeopleSoft Query, using Microsoft Excel templates in BI Publisher, thresholds and personalized analytic notifications, pivot grids, Kibana Analytics, report distribution, and run control ID management. PeopleTools 858 enables you to set thresholds for a particular data point or multiple data points on a bar chart, providing a visual representation that identifies when the threshold is reached. For example, the color gradually changes when the number of visitors crosses the 50,000 threshold. Instead of a gradual change in color, you can also create a band or block to represent a threshold. PeopleTools also supports the Jet Timeline component that displays a set of events in chronological order. 
To use the JET timeline, PeopleTools provides the timeline class with its methods and properties, which an application developer can use within the chart area in Application Designer. Typically, a chart area is associated with a field on a record. A timeline visualization can use a single series or two series. The PeopleTools 858 Data Masking Enhancement in PeopleSoft Query enables you to mask output and prevent the display of sensitive or personally identifiable information, or PI, data. You'll set up the data masking pattern on the Query Administration page. This feature enables you to control output in various locations in the PeopleSoft Query Output Viewer. In Pivot Grid and Simplified Analytics, if PI or sensitive data is selected as a Y axis, an empty chart will be shown with data displayed as masked in the detailed view. If sensitive data is selected as an X axis, an error message will appear saying one or more axis data is sensitive. If sensitive data is selected as a filter or an editable facet, the data will be hidden from the left pane of the Pivot Grid viewer and will be masked in the detailed view. When using Query APIs to fetch data from a query, the Application Data Privacy Framework programs incorporate PeopleTools security by designating record fields as PI or sensitive data and restrict access by user or role. For BI Publisher reports generated using RTF templates, you can use conditional logic in the template combined with the runtime parameter dollar sign masked fields to detect and either bypass the formatting of masked data fields or replace them with a customized text, for example, private. Even if a user is authorized to access certain queries, you can control whether personal data or other sensitive fields are exposed to them when the query executes. In PeopleTools 858, BI Publisher for PeopleSoft enables you to generate spreadsheet reports using Microsoft Excel templates. With Microsoft Excel templates, you can split hierarchical data across multiple worksheets and dynamically name those sheets, creating sheets of data with master detail relationships. Use native Microsoft Excel functions and formulas, generate financial reports that present substantial numerical data, along with any relevant calculations or aggregation of that data, and design spreadsheet reports with much greater control than with RTF or XSL templates. When using a Microsoft Excel template, the initial formatting and layout in the template stays intact. In PeopleTools 858, you can define thresholds for a single x-axis data point using pivot grids. Previously, you could only define a collective threshold for all data points on the x-axis. This feature also enables you to define varied thresholds for different data points on the same chart. Set thresholds for an individual data point from the Configure Notifications window for that data point. PeopleTools 858 also introduces support for defining two different thresholds on the y-axis. When the chart contains a dual y-axis, the threshold line or area is plotted against the respective axes, enabling you to capture rules with more than one threshold. Pivot grid models use personalized analytic notifications for thresholds. If threshold boundaries are exceeded, the system sends you a notification. As an extension to the existing email and push notification alerts, PeopleTools 858 will support text messaging notification alerts when a threshold is reached. The notification configuration for pivot grid thresholds is delivered by default in the PG Thresholds Notification category. If you're an administrative user, you can change your notification options from the Notification Configuration page. On this page, the administrator can enable personalization settings for the end user. When personalization settings are enabled, the end user can change the notification options from the My Preferences page. However, to enable text messaging notification support, additional administrative configurations, like setting up the phone number, are required.
In People Tools 858, Pivot Grids introduces the ability to export rows that are visible on a pivot grid when filters are applied. This enables the export of a subset of data from a pivot grid. The exported data only includes the filtered data that appears in the current view of the pivot grid. People Tools 858 also introduces the ability to define order or sequence values for data points on the x-axis. You can sort values on the x-axis in the order that makes most sense to you. Define these sequence values on the Configure Column Axis Sequence window in Step 3 of the Pivot Grid Wizard. Once you define your custom sequence and save your preference, view your changes in the Pivot Grid Viewer. Your defined values take precedence over the default character sort order. Another sorting enhancement is the sequencing of the facets category in the Pivot Grid configuration. PeopleSoft introduces the ability to configure which facet categories are expanded by default in the Pivot Grid Viewer. After you define and save your preferences, view your changes in the Pivot Grid Viewer. Sorting facet items is also supported in PeopleTools 858. When you select items from a facet category, the selected items take precedence in the sorting order over the default character sort order. Also with PeopleTools 858, the Pivot Grid Detailed View enables you to format non-monetary numeric fields to display the thousand separator. Configure this feature by selecting the Display 1000 Separator checkbox in Step 3 of the Pivot Grid Wizard. Prior to PeopleTools 858, Kibana was used for Search Index and Elasticsearch Server monitoring. With PeopleTools 858, you can now use Kibana to visualize and analyze existing PeopleSoft application data stored in Elasticsearch indexes for search, or create new Elasticsearch indexes for additional data you want to visualize or analyze. This functionality provides user authentication based on PeopleSoft user and role security. It also includes data authorization where the data displayed to a user is filtered similar to search results which are based on the user's role security. PeopleSoft enables you to create and edit visualizations by accessing Kibana and provides visualizations at two levels, a summary level visualization through tiles in PeopleSoft and a detailed visualization where you can apply filters and set time ranges in PeopleSoft. Here, a search administrator deploys the application's delivered Kibana dashboards. The Deploy action loads the dashboard to your Kibana instance, enabling you to view the dashboards on the Kibana dashboard page. The status of the dashboard changes to Deployed. Now use the Kibana Privileges page to specify privileges for editing or viewing the dashboard. Assign view privileges to the recruiter role for the applicant's dashboard, enabling any user with that role to view the dashboard. Now, a recruiter needs to add the tile to her home page to view the visualizations. All the application's delivered tiles are listed on the Add Tile dialog box. Add the applicant's tile to your recruiting home page. The saved tile displays on the home page and begins loading the dashboard. The dashboard loads the first visualization on the dashboard, and because you have view privileges, you can view it. When you click the Applicant tile, the dashboard opens in Kibana and displays all the visualizations configured on the dashboard. Here, you have more options like the Time Picker to choose a time range for the visualizations. However, you can't save the changes because you don't have edit privileges. The My Applicants page displays the Kibana dashboard configured as related information in the right side panel. You can display the dashboard as a new window, where you can use the Time Picker option to set the time range for a visualization. In PeopleTools 858, you can now add a From email address while distributing reports helping you manage, organize, and filter emails from different PeopleSoft processes. 
Set this option while scheduling processes or jobs or at the job or process definition level. PeopleTools 858 introduces Run Control ID Management, enabling you to retrieve, validate, and delete Run Control IDs. Administrative users can retrieve, validate, and delete any Run Control ID, while end users can retrieve, validate, and delete any Run Control ID they created. This feature allows PeopleSoft application teams to deliver Run Control ID management interfaces in their products. This completes our discussion of reporting and analytics enhancements. In PeopleTools 858, PeopleSoft Search Framework supports Elasticsearch 7.0, a new version of the search engine, and Kibana 7.0, a new version of the analytics platform. The Kibana Analytics segment earlier in this video describes PeopleTools 858 improvements. Search Framework ships a new Elasticsearch DPK that contains the ELK stack, which includes Elasticsearch, Kibana, and Logstash. Initially, Logstash will work exclusively with PeopleSoft Health Center. PeopleSoft enables you to mask personally identifiable information, or PI, and sensitive data on classic and fluid search pages, including prompt pages. Use PeopleCode to mask PI data by using masking characters, and you can define the trailing characters that can remain unmasked. If list view or facets contain PI or sensitive data, they are removed from the search page. This completes our discussion of search in PeopleTools 858. Integration Broker creates web services, including REST-based web services, from a component interface. This makes it easy to expose business logic in standard ways. In addition to sending and receiving these services in XML format, PeopleTools 858 introduces support for sending and receiving the services in JSON as well. This completes our discussion of the CI to REST interface feature. When you obtain a PUM image, one of the DPKs you download includes Oracle Database Server software. The Oracle Database Server software is used to deploy the pre-configured application database when you set up the PUM image. The PUM images built on PeopleTools 858 will use Oracle 19C database server software. Oracle 19C is the terminal release of the 12.2.x database code line and will be supported for an extended period of time. This completes our discussion of lifecycle management, PUM images utilizing Oracle 19C feature. PeopleTools 858 includes platform and COBOL enhancements to infrastructure DPKs, universal table spaces for DB2 ZEOS, and Adopt Microfocus Visual COBOL 4.0. PeopleTools will deliver infrastructure DPKs that contain up-to-date CPU patches for supporting software components soon after they're made available. When you download the PeopleTools DPKs or PeopleSoft PUM images, check for an infrastructure DPK with a later delivery date. The infrastructure DPK will be delivered as needed with updated CPU or possibly other patches that PeopleTools deems necessary for Oracle WebLogic, Oracle Tuxedo, JDK, JRE, Oracle Database Client, and Oracle HTTP Server. Download the Infrastructure DPK, along with PeopleTools DPKs or PeopleSoft PUM images, into the same directory and use them for a new installation. When you use the DPK setup script, it uses the components from the Infrastructure DPK to install your environment with the updated versions of Oracle WebLogic, Oracle Tuxedo, JDK, JRE, Oracle Database Client, and Oracle HTTP Server from the Infrastructure DPK.
Apple is aligning with IBM's strategic direction on the DB2 for Xeos platform by introducing support for universal table spaces. Prior to PeopleTools 858, PeopleTools used IBM's shared segmented table spaces, which allowed for multiple tables in a table space. IBM's direction has shifted to adopt universal table spaces, which contain a single table. Beginning with PeopleTools 858, PeopleTools will dynamically create new databases using UTS with DB2 Xeos 12.1 when function level 503 or higher is enabled. PeopleSoft applications that require COBOL will now use the next generation MicroFocus compiler suite of products, Visual COBOL replacing Server Express and NetExpress. Visual COBOL was introduced as an option with the PeopleTools 856 and 857 patch releases. With PeopleTools 858, it becomes the only supported MicroFocus compiler. There is no additional cost associated with the change to Visual COBOL, just a simple exchange of the license file. Note that support for other COBOL compilers, such as IBM COBOL, has not changed. If you currently have NetExpress for Windows, you have several options. Visual COBOL 4.0 for Visual Studio and Visual COBOL 4.0 for Eclipse include compiler, runtime, and IDE integration for debugging and editing. Visual COBOL 4.0 Build Tools is a command line tool and includes the compiler and runtime. Select the product that fits with your organization's needs and development tools. If you have Server Express, the choice is simple. Visual COBOL 4.0 Development Hub, which includes the compiler and runtime. The FAQ in using Visual COBOL with PeopleSoft on my Oracle support provides answers to common questions, including changes and how existing customers using MicroFocus COBOL compilers request their new free Visual COBOL license. This completes our discussion of platform and COBOL enhancements. Security, data privacy, and monitoring enhancements. Data Privacy Framework enables you to identify and mask personally identifiable information, or PI, and sensitive data, and is implemented through data masking and filtering. This functionality enables masking of IDs and other mass data in dropdowns, search display fields, and other PI and sensitive data. Filtering allows role-based rules for different users, restricting users from viewing unauthorized data. Data privacy covers query, search results, dropdowns, and filters. Set up data masking patterns on the Query Administration page to control output in various locations in the PeopleSoft Query Output Viewer. See the PeopleSoft Query segment earlier in this video for more details on data masking in Query. You can mask PI or sensitive data on classic and fluid search pages, including prompt pages. See the search segment earlier in this video for more details on search field masking. The Filter User ID Values in drop-down feature enables you to display only those user IDs in the drop-down for which the user has security access. In the drop-down, the mass data disguises the original data link. PeopleTools now supports Open Authorization, or OAuth 2.0. With OAuth, an end user's account information can be used by third party services without exposing the user's password. This is a foundation release for PeopleSoft, so the initial support is for use with Oracle Identity Cloud Service and Chatbot REST services. In addition, PeopleTools 858 provides consistency in login client IP addresses versus host names, making it possible to configure which of the exported type IP addresses are being reported as an individual browser IP.
PeopleSoft Health Center, or PHC, replaces mobile application framework with Kibana dashboards to display monitoring data on the health of your PeopleSoft applications. You can view monitoring data pertaining to a specific application, host, or domain. PHC uses Logstash for ingesting data, which is shipped with the Elasticsearch DPK. For PHC to work correctly, install Elasticsearch, Kibana, and Logstash. Kibana uses the PHC index in Elasticsearch to display monitoring data in the visualizations. PHC delivers dashboards for the application, web, and process scheduler servers in addition to the summary dashboard. This completes our discussion of security, data privacy, and monitoring enhancements. We've only shown you the highlights of the PeopleTools 858 release. For more information about these features and the other enhancements, see the CFO tool, the new feature overview on my Oracle support, and go to the PeopleSoft Information Portal for updates. <music> <laughs>